Thank you for purchasing the Universal 3-in-1 Professional Audio Headset Switch from Kensington. In this video, we will walk you through how to quickly get set up and running with your new professional video conferencing device. What's in the box? First, take the product out of the box. Included with the audio switch, you will find one 2-meter USB-C to USB-A cable, one USB-A female to USB-C male adapter, a welcome insert, an instruction guide, a compliance card, and your warranty card. Getting started, connecting and powering the audio switch. To get connected, take the USB-C to the USB-A cable and connect the USB-C end to the rear USB-C port on the audio switch. Next, connect the USB-A end of the cable to your computer. Please note that the USB-A female to USB-C male adapter can be used if you would prefer to connect the audio switch to your computer via USB-C. This connection to your computer provides power to the audio switch, while also acting as the wired audio line for conference calls, music, and more. Now that the audio switch has power and is connected to the wired channel, indicated by a green LED light, within the computer's audio channels, we need to set the Kensington audio switch as both the input and output source. Connecting a headset, wired or Bluetooth. Now we can connect a headset to the audio switch. By default, the audio switch is set to connect to a wired headset, indicated by the green LED light shown on the headset button. If connecting a wired headset, simply connect it to either the front 3.5 mm audio jack or connect it to the USB-C port on the front of the audio switch. Please note that if you did not use the USB-A female to USB-C male adapter yet, that adapter can be used to connect a wired USB-A headset to the audio switch. If connecting a Bluetooth headset, that can be done by pressing the headset button once. Doing this sets the headset line into Bluetooth mode, indicated by a blue LED light. Please note, before pairing a Bluetooth headset, make sure it is not connected via Bluetooth to another device. This may require you to disable Bluetooth on another device like your phone first. To pair a Bluetooth headset, press and hold the headset button for two seconds. This will place the audio switch in headset pairing mode, indicated by a flashing blue LED light. Now, on your Bluetooth headset, place it into pairing mode. Please note that you might need to read the instructions of your headset to determine how to place it in pairing mode, as this can vary by the headset. With the audio switch's headset line and your headset in pairing mode, they will connect within a few seconds, indicated by a solid blue LED light. If you run into any issues on this step, see our Frequently Asked Questions section. Now that your headset is connected, it's time to pair your additional audio devices to the audio switch. Additional devices can include computers, a tablet, or a phone. Pairing Bluetooth Devices – Tablets, Phones, Laptops To pair a device, press the first Bluetooth button on the top of the audio switch. This will set the audio switch to that Bluetooth channel, indicated by a blue LED light. Next, press and hold the Bluetooth button for two seconds. This will place that Bluetooth channel into pairing mode, indicated by a flashing blue LED light. Now, on your Bluetooth-enabled device, set it into pairing mode. Please note that you might need to read the instructions for your device to determine how to place it in pairing mode, as this may vary by device type. Next, with the audio switch's first Bluetooth channel and your device in pairing mode, they will connect within a few seconds, indicated by a solid blue LED light. If you run into any issues on this step, see our Frequently Asked Questions section. Now that your first Bluetooth device is connected, you can connect a second Bluetooth device if desired by following the same steps. To do this, click the second Bluetooth button on the top of the audio switch. This will set the audio switch to that Bluetooth channel, indicated by a blue LED light. Next, press and hold the Bluetooth button for two seconds. This will place that Bluetooth channel into pairing mode, indicated by a flashing blue LED light. Now, on your Bluetooth-enabled device, set it into pairing mode. With the audio switch's second Bluetooth channel and your device in pairing mode, they will connect within a few seconds, indicated by a solid blue LED light. At this point, you have connected your headset, wired or Bluetooth, 
as well as three devices to the audio switch. You are now ready to use the audio switch for calls, music, and more. Now please note that some applications, like Zoom or Teams, will require you to set the Kensington audio switch as the input and output source when using it for the first time. Switching Channels, Buttons, and Controls To switch between audio channels, simply press one of the top three buttons on the audio switch. Whichever channel has the glowing LED indicates the channel you are on. To mute your headset's microphone, press the large mute button in the center of the audio switch. This will cause the LED light to turn red, indicating that all microphone channels are muted. To unmute, simply press the mute button one more time and the LED will turn off. To turn your volume up or down, simply press the plus or minus keys. To turn the volume up or down multiple levels, multiple presses in either direction will be required. With that, you are all set up and running with your 3-in-1 audio switch. If you have any questions or encounter any issues with your audio switch, know we are here for you with detailed FAQs and dedicated support paths. We hope you enjoy your new audio switch device and thank you for choosing Kensington.